So I'm going to show you how I changed the deck belt on this MTD mower. Well, it's called a Ranch King, but you know, MTD lawnmowers, they manufacture all kinds of brand names. But basically, this is just an MTD mower. It's got three blades. It's a 46-inch deck. And I, the belt I got is found one that fit at Tractor Supply. You can see here, I got this thing on a lift. I, this is my motorcycle lift, and this made this a lot easier. Most people don't have a lift. And oh boy, I pity you. You're going to be crawling around, you know, on the ground fixing this. But here we go. Let me show you how I did this. The very first thing I did, I got my socket set out and I got a 3 8 inch socket on the ratchet there. And that's the size that these uh, bolts were to get these covers off on this particular mower. It's just the covers that are covering up the pulleys and the belt and everything. That's got to get that stuff all out of the way first. I have to remove the drive belt that goes from the motor to the deck because uh, it's in the way of being able to replace the new belt and there's these little pins that are threaded in there and those kind of keep the belt in place from flying off the pulley uh, when when the deck's not engaged so I had to remove one pin of those on each side and and the other ones managed to stay in and still managed to get the belt out so you can see I used some uh, channel locks to get those off pro tip lower the deck down so you can access things easier when you're removing stuff and move it back up when you have to. So to get this belt off, I couldn't actually get it off on the deck side, so I had to go and attack it on the motor side here. So I started off, I took off the um, little retainer uh, pin thing, and I was able to get the belt off from the motor side. For some reason, it, it came off this side a lot easier. So to get to the pulleys to be able to put the new belt on this deck, you have to remove some of these control arms that are in the way that come, that hold the deck on. And then there's also this big one here with this pin through it um, that has to get removed. I don't know exactly what you call it, but you can see it there. You can see me trying to remove that big, basically bushing pin that goes through it. Um, and these all come off pretty easy, except for that one that took some trickery to it. Uh, but it eventually I got it off. So once you get all this stuff out of the way and you have full access to the pulleys to be able to put the new belt on, basically you got to find out the routing that the belt goes. And if your old belt broke, it's not going to be too obvious. So what I had to do, I googled the schematic for it, the model number of this mower. Just Google that. Usually it'll come up with a picture. You might have to look a little bit. Um, I did. I will admit I did kind of just try to do it at first before looking at that and I got pretty close and I eventually got it right but the belt I got originally was like two inches too short so I had to return it I had to get a hundred inch belt instead of a 98 inch one and believe it or not the belts from Tractor Supply they're like an inch under what they say they are but either way the hundred inch belt worked on this one um, it works just fine and so I didn't think these had a tensioner pulley but the one idle pulley is a tensioner pulley what I had to do to get the belt on I had to take the one basically idle pulley off and force the belt on there however it would go on there but basically the one pulley is a tensioner pulley so look out for that 